Welcome guys. Welcome guys. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. This your boy Kendrick. This your boy Kendrick. I go by the name. I go by the name. The key vibes. The key vibes. And today, and today, we finna appetize. We finna small business. Small business. Luxury. Luxury. Business. Business. Advertise. Advertise. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. You don't tune in my channel, Luxury Business Advertisement, and today we have a special guest, Two Fly Levi. I'm about to go to the mall, get a shape up. I want to know, do he really cut good hair? Let's find that out. Yes, two fly Levi the barber. Yes, tune in. What's up, y'all? My name is Levi, aka Levi the barber, aka Two Fly Levi from Williston, Florida, and I am the managing barber here at Southern Scissor Works in Ocala, Florida. Um, we've been open about two and a half years, and um, it's a real diverse shop with uh, all type of barbers from every spectrum of, of, of uh, cutters you can imagine. Um, I think we're one of the best here in Ocala. We, we do what we do. Um, I've been cutting hair since I was nine. First time I cut hair was when I used to be with my great granddaddy and he wanted a haircut. And so he asked me to go and uh, get the clippers to cut his hair. And I was like, nah, I don't know Papa. But he was like, just put them on my head, put the guard on, and just go back. That was the first time I cut hair. And then, every, then ever since then, I you know I was doing it for him, you know, cutting him and shaving him with the magic shade, the, the cream powder stuff. But then when I was about 15 is when I really got serious with it. Um, we didn't have a local barber in our city in Williston, so you know all the kids used to cut each other's hair, and um, I kind of stuck out. You know, I started cutting hair on the weekends to make you know a little pocket change. And then, um, you know, as time went on, I was always cutting hair. And then one day, when I was living in Atlanta, I was making good money at a good company, I got laid off. And I was sitting at the kitchen table trying to figure out what in the world should I do to make some money. And it hit um, I was always told, if you ever want to be happy in a career, I always find something that you'll do for free and try to get paid for. So Barbara snapped in my head. I came home, I went to school, I got my license, and I've been cutting legally since about 2005, 2006. And uh, I haven't worked a day in my life since I've been doing this. This ain't a job, this is, this, this is, this is a passion, it's a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, everybody in the shop gets along. It's like a big family, you know, we can come in, we shoot the bull, we cut hair, watch the girls roll by, and you know, do what we do. You know, we, 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 we specialize in making men look better. You know, we, we give you confidence back. You know, you, you gotta get that, that haircut, and get that job, or make you going on that first date or that last date or out with your old lady. It don't matter. But you consider it an art. Yes, it's an art form. I mean, you work with your hands and you're creating something out of nothing. You know. You see it in your head, and then you create it, and you get paid for it.
Now, I'm about to get the first touch up. Just tune in. Right on time. That's what I'm talking about. This is a good barber. So what you call this, you know, like a kind of shaving cream, like that's um Campbell's um hot, hot lab. It's a lab. It's a lab. It comes in like a tube like this. You take it, squeeze it out. Put like a cap full of chilled water, get it water, and then this thing it spins and it pushes it. Two types of razors. You got a, what I call a lineup razor, it's got for that blade sticks out. Wow. This is a heavy shaving razor. Mm. It's a shaving razor because it's, it's made out of metal and it has weight to it. And I can shave the face real easy with it. Also, how much you charge for lineups? Lineups are 10 and 15. $10 if you just want the head done. 15 if you want your head and your beard done. Hmm. Lineup can be like your, uh, your save. Like if you don't really want, you need a haircut, it's between cuts, you just get a lineup and refresh it again. Oh, wow. Yeah. Also, do um, enhancements. Like if your edge ain't quite there, like Gator been biting on it. <laughs> this, this thing here is thorough rubs, back to sides. It's, it's the last thing you want your customer to remember. Oh man, that's how nice. You take this thing, like a lot of dudes work hard all day, you know what I'm saying, they're on their feet, you know, whatever, dealing with the balls, they come to the barbershop and relax and kind of forget about, you know, what's really happening. Oh. About the wife, forget about the kids, forget about the world, and just come in and just, you know, be a fella, be a man. Come in and kick it. Appreciate for your time, man. No problem. Anytime. Anytime. Oh, I can't believe it, dog. He is one of the best barbers out there. Nice shape up. It's not even a haircut he gave me. He gave me a look. You know, lined up from the front to the back. I like his skills. I like his personality. If you stay in Ocala, Marion County, Gainesville, Orlando, whatever, just go to the mall, get your fresh haircut. With a fresh lineup, 
Don't care about the price, man. Care about that cut. If you want to come on my show, call 352-456-8982. Come on my show, advertise your business. Hey, we can go ahead and get with it. Peace. Luxury Warrior Empire, boy.